What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Creatine, should you cycle it? Does it need to be taken every day? Well first, let's get into what creatine is. Creatine is an all natural supplement, simply three amino acids. That's it. Nothing crazy about it. Despite what the media says, it is completely fine. Let me go into the benefits of creatine. they will tell you exactly how to take it. Number one, creatine helps your muscles produce more energy by increasing ATP. This will increase your high intensity exercise performance. It also helps build lean mass. It's been shown in studies to do this. It increases IGF-1. It improves strength, such as sprints, Muscular endurance increases all of that. This is scientifically validated. It has even been shown to help improve brain performance, may lower blood sugar, and fight diabetes by increasing something called GLUT4, which is a transporter that takes sugar to your muscle cells, essentially. And it reduces fatigue and tiredness in everyday life. Creatine does a lot of awesome things. So for it to be maligned in any way as something bad is just completely false. Creatine is something I believe everybody, from your couch potato to your elderly person due to its applications in Alzheimer's and even Parkinson's, should take. Creatine is safe, period, validated by much research. So the question is, how often should you take it? When should you take it? Bottom line is, if you're taking a pre-workout like MTS Nutrition Clash, it has, four gra- it has five grams of creatine in it. If you train for four days a week, That gives you enough where within about 20 to 21 days, you are fully saturated. What does that mean? Well, creatine builds up in your system. It's not something like caffeine where you take it, you have energy immediately. Creatine, you know, basically builds up and then it saturates your muscle with creatine. That gives you all the benefits. Your muscle will have those benefits of creatine before saturation. But again, saturation is what you want. So some people will load creatine. What you do is that's when you take about 20 grams or let's say four scoops of uh, MTS Nutrition Creapure, and it loads you within a week rather than taking three to four weeks. I don't see a need for this. I'd rather see you just take your time, take a scoop a day, and make it a part of your everyday supplement and vitamin regimen. So there's no need to, to load it. However, if you do load it, it'll just means you're saturated that much faster. But regardless, if you take it every day, you will reach full saturation. It just will take a little bit more time. So. Another thing people do is they say, should I take a pre-workout, post-workout? People would argue you need to take a post-workout because a lot of people take a high sugar meal post-workout, help kickstart recovery. However, with the popularity of keto diets and intermittent fasting, a lot of people aren't even, wor- aren't even taking in food or especially sugar post-workout. Creatine is extremely well absorbed. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter when you take creatine, you could take it at any time, even if there's a slight difference in absorption, what you're looking for is that buildup effect. An extra one to 2% increase in absorption is gonna do nothing, because it's not an acute effect. That's why I recommend just taking it whatever you want, whenever you can remember, whether it's easiest for you to take it every day in the morning, at night, post-workout, pre-workout. I include it in my pre-workout mainly, because for me personally, I would probably forget to take creatine if it wasn't in my pre-workout. And it is so important that I want to take it every day, which is why I have five grams of Crea Pure Creatine in each serving of MTS Nutrition Clash. So bottom line is, you ask what kind of creatine to take. Crea Pure. Crea Pure, look, here's the deal. Creatine is creatine, I get it. Crea Pure is from the German source. They're the ones who funded all the studies on creatine. And it's the one that the studies were done on. So I only use Crea Pure Creatine in all MTS Nutrition products simply for the state of mind. You know there's not going to be impurities. A lot of people will say in the beginning, you'd hear people complain about bloating from creatine. I have two reasons for that. One is because people are taking a post-workout or during a bulk where you're increasing your carbohydrate. Shoot, um, one of the original um, best-selling creatines had 75 grams of dextrose. I don't know about you, but if I took in 75 grams of the most pure glucose you could find, I might get a little bit bloated. Another reason is the cheap forms of creatine flooding the market from China and other countries, mostly China, were full of impurities. 
When you buy something like MTS Nutrition Crea Pure Creatine, you know you're getting the verified 100% patented source of creatine, which is Creapure, which is the one they did studies on that showed you're not gonna get bloat. There is a water effect of creatine. What creatine does, it pulls water into your muscle cells. It's not extracellular, it's intracellular, and that's what you want. So if you're getting ready for a contest, if you're getting on stage, I was known when I competed as the driest, hardest, leanest guy on stage. I took creatine through my show every single time. Why? What better time to take creatine than when you're in a really stressed state, your brain performance is down, and you're at risk of losing muscle. When you have creatine in your system, not only does it help stave off that muscle loss, it'll help prevent your strength from declining, it'll also keep your brain um, performing at an optimal level. So there you have it, guys. That is when, how, and what kind of creatine to take. Any time you have questions on this, I am always available. You can reach me on Instagram, at Mark Lobliner on Instagram, at Mark Lobliner on Twitter, um, at Mark Lobliner on Facebook. You get it, what's going on here? Anyway, guys, thanks so much. I'm gonna link down below so you can take a look at this creatine right here. That's MTS Nutrition Creapure Creatine. This is my brand, so I put my stamp of approval behind it. But again, just look for Creapure. If you have Creapure on there, you know you're getting the good stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Oh, and you might be asking one more thing. Creatine HCL, creatine... Um, all those different creatines on the market. Bottom line is there's more data on monohydrate and when put head to head versus something like crealcaline or creatine ethyl ester, monohydrate always wins out. If you look at the dosing chart on creatine HCL, you'll even see that the dosing, when you get above like 140 pounds, the exact same as this, might as well go for the tried and true Crea Pure Creatine. That's not a game.